2016. Happening today, the Arizona Humane Society is waiving all pet adoption fees. Kelsey is joining us to tell us all about the program. Hi, Kelsey. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. We always love having you guys. Who's your little friend there? Yes, yeah, so this is Emma. She is an eight-week-old domestic short hair kitty. She is one of just a few dozen kitties who are looking for their forever homes as well as dogs. And you mentioned it, the Arizona Humane Society is having totally waived fees today through tomorrow for all of our pets. And so we care for thousands of sick, injured, and abused pets. And adoption is the number one way to be able to get them in the homes. Mm -hmm. And right now, you get a great deal by having waived fees. How, how are you guys able to do that? Yes, we are so thankful to Bissell Pet Foundation for allowing us to be able to waive these fees. As you can imagine, the hot summer months are our most busiest time. We currently have more than 1,100 pets in our care, not only in our specialized ICUs and in the shelter, but also in our foster hero home. So by adopting a sweet baby like one of these guys, you're not only able to be able to save these lives, but you're allowing us to be able to save the lives of more sick, injured, and abused pets each and every day. This is so fantastic fantastic that you're able to do it and I also think that the cat with the cone was fantastic I think Simone and I both let out a little <laughs> chuckle because we weren't expecting that and so these cats are spayed neutered like you mentioned and they're ready to be taken home to be loved and it really is a joy to have a pet at home Kelsey we're both animal lovers Yes, that is right. So you mentioned it. So even though it's waived adoption fees, all of our pets come spayed, neutered, have updated vaccines, their microchips, and you also get a free bag of science diet. We're looking at Wisteria here, oh. who is a two-year-old lab pity mix with our awesome volunteer, Julie. I think Perry has a puppy somewhere around here as well. So there are still lots of amazing animals who are looking for their forever home. And if adopting isn't quite right for you, you can foster, you can donate, you can volunteer. There's so many ways to be able to help the homeless pets that just have nowhere else to go. I think Wisteria has a big smile on her face, right? She's ready. Oh, there we <laughs> go. Right. There's a puppy. There's a puppy coming our way. That's not a little puppy, though. That's a big puppy. Oh, no, this is not going to be a little puppy. He's probably going to be pretty big, but as you can tell, just calm or maybe pretending to be calm. But that's what's so great about adopting is that there are animals to fit every single lifestyle. So we really encourage everyone to visit azhumane.org slash adopt, see what pets we have, book an appointment, see who tugs at your heartstrings, <laughs> come down and meet them. And like we always mention, never judge a book by its cover either because there's absolutely some amazing pets that need their forever homes. Kelsey, you're right about that. How old is that puppy? Do we know? That puppy is only five months old. So <laughs> as you can tell, she oh is going to be pretty big. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but, but I mean... A lot I think of we're training though. her to be a lap puppy. Yeah, a lot of, I, I <laughs> yes, think so too. A lot of love to Yeah, give. that's definitely going to be a lap pup for sure. Okay, so do people need to make an appointment? <laughs> do they go online? Do they just show up? What do they need to do today? Yes, so all of our appointments are still by, our, all of our adoptions are still by appointment only. So you can visit azhumane.org slash adopt, see which of our pets tugs at your heartstrings, make sure to book an appointment. And not only are we doing adoptions here at our Campus for Compassion location in Phoenix, but also we have our Pet Smart Scottsdale location open in Old Town. So if you're in the East Valley and there's any pets there that are uh, up your alley or maybe you want a feisty kitty, then make sure to visit our <laughs> website and book an appointment. Yeah, she was a little quiet in the beginning and then really started waiting waking up and the gloves were waving. That got her attention. Thanks, Kelsey. It's always great to chat with you. I hope all those animals get adopted out. Thank you. Thanks.